And here we are, in the blink of an eye. Shall we take stock of our surroundings? About time you came along. I have a special tale to share with you today. Or so I'd like to say, but it is getting rather late. Best spend the night. We can talk again come the morning. Ah, good. You're awake. Look to the sea, my friend. Hard to resist setting out in one's boat with fair skies like these, eh? I've told you about the sunken temple in the middle of the sea, haven't I? I am quite sure that I ne'er spoke of the man who resides there. He was such a worthy ruler in life that his armies safeguard him even in death, as he himself would have it. He was once entrusted with the task of watching over this world from the heavens above. Yet he tired of his duty and abandoned his perch in the sky in favor of founding a small kingdom on the ground. Alas, though he was a just and goodly ruler, there is not a single person alive who remembers his name. Oh, it sounds unfortunate, but if you ask me, tis all a matter of perspective. It can be a blessing to forget. And to be forgotten. I should know. In all my long years, I've never forgotten a single thing. I remember everything. Every little detail. Would that I could forget some of it. <laughs> a lie it may seem, but a lie it is not. I speak only the truth. Come see me again if it pleases you. <laughs> I've tales aplenty to share. Fend. I've ne'er seen the like. I'd not known there were ruins in the depths of this cavern till the path appeared. Twas magic, methinks. I should have liked to investigate if the place hadn't been crawling with monsters. I'll be needing sturdier arms than these afore I head back in there, I fear. At any rate, I'd best report this discovery to my commander. I only pray Nort Grave shall come of it. You would gather materials here, not me. Mayhap would behoove us to investigate Stormwind Cave. It appears aught has occurred there. I'm not sure what to tell you. Anything for you, Arisen. Off I go. It is a hasty retreat we're beating. Is there not more to see? Some ventures are best given up for lost. I'm not sending anyone into that cave! But Jonas, isn't it your duty to aid our people? <laughs> this world's gone to the dogs. I think I can manage. Oh, uh, apologies, Master. My mind was a thousand leagues away.
Is this a challenge arisen to see who can keep pace? No time to catch your breath. Try to keep up. Welcome to browse my wares. <sighs> For bread and board, you'll find none better. Glad to be of service, sir. I thought you might like this, so I picked it up. Here you go. moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. There are one or two places of interest nearby. I could tell you more about them if you like, Master. over there let us ponder how best to proceed while in another world I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here perhaps I could show you the way I'm drifting on here really I know just where to go Of curative cult men. If I might be so bold as to speak my mind, different masters favour different pawns. One whom I serve preferred to have bistrons for allies. Now there's a thought. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. We might always be so in step, eh?
materials such as this can be combined to craft things. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. With this, my magic take yours to wield. will serve as well. Strike true, lest the beast be. What? Oh, uh, you. <laughs> I'd not say no to a short repose hereabouts. Perhaps we might take a moment to savor the scene. It's no great shock to me. We've all got different vocations. It is a tad inconvenient that we can't share equipment. We must each of us hone our skills. A jack of all trades is a master of... None. Traveling beyond the rift, I uncovered a treasure chest hidden in this very locale. Shall we seek it out? Master, if you're carrying around anything you don't need, there's no time like the present to rid yourself of it. Let's see. What can we do without? Gathering materials makes for dull work indeed. Well now, that's a tricky place to hide a chest. We must find a way over to it. It would be torture to leave it unclaimed. How might I be of assistance? 
Beg pardon, sir. Over so soon? Why, oh, we seem to have come through unscathed. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. wish I shall return directly <laughs> and here I was hoping for some great treasure now I feel a fool We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Follow me. That sounds most unpleasant. I do hope we shall remain free of it. Be trifled with. If we must, let us finish this quickly. It's easily done. Would seem I've some catching up to do. You don't look as if you need my help.
Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Yes, I will try to quick carry. I shall be your shadow. was thrilling. I did not know I could feel so alive. Standing still is harder than it looks, you know. There's ought to be found there. Can you not see it? Let us ponder how best to proceed. I've got you. Use this chance to recover. with elemental magic. Come to think of it, I, I experienced at the coronation was beyond imagining. I hope never to experience the like of that sensation again. This ladder can take us to new heights. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. The law is to be thrown in jail. As I understand it, the pay of a jailer is miserable for all their toil. Then we'd best keep some coin on hand to ease our potential warder's suffering. And... Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you.
always a pleasure. Look as long as you please. Not a hair in the world. Just Pleasant as it should be. Please. Right, um, Master, you appear to be carrying rather a lot. Perhaps you ought to set a few things down. Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? Let's see. What can we do without? You would gather materials here, Master. Can we really afford to carry more? Very well. I shall return. Know your place. What, pray tell, are you doing here? Uh, perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but it is difficult to forget all that occurred at the coronation. There will be a reckoning for this. I shall not suffer others to mimic our master's powers. Patrons, connoisseurs, friends, my humblest thanks for joining me here at the unveiling of my collection's crowning jewel. There is much more I should like to say, but the anticipation is apt to kill me should I stall another moment. Let us gaze upon the sculpture now. <laughs> my word. It would appear I overestimated your ability. How dare you claim my gold for a clumsy attempt such as this? You have shamed me and shall ne'er again know my patronage, Fulvio. Now gather... A dispiriting conclusion. It is a shame how the sculpture turned out. I do wish we had fairer tidings to share. Oh, good thing I'm here, really. I know just where to go. I swear I'll wring that incompetent sculptor's neck. What a fool I was to place my faith in him. I know Clark wasn't pleased, but that was the best I could manage. I shall strive to improve, and perhaps one day he'll think better of me.
This way, if you please. Attack! Have you heard tell of an ox traveling the right way? Honestly, I follow every regulation to the letter and only travel during the day. Why can't others do the same? There's been much talk on the street of this phantom ox cart, but I've heard rather enough of it. I'll have to. Follow me if you would. I know the path best travel. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. Could you come over here? Imagine the coin we'd gain from selling this. Deeper pockets make for shallower troubles, they say. Something written here. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. There are one or two places of interest nearby. I could tell you more about them if you like, Master. Oh, I should tell you. There's a forgotten rift stone nearby. I found it beyond the rift. Shall we go there now? Let's not be bothering me for no reason. Oh, 
ox carts offer an easy journey, if not a comfortable one. Drivers can... Oh, good thing I'm here, really. I know just where to go. I've a knack for combining materials that I hope you'll find you. I brought the number that you requested. I'll take it, this will be enough. Aye, nicely done. Get in, you lot. Here's your payment. Thank you kindly, sir. But ordinarily, coin like this would take me half a year to earn. And I'll thank you to spend it wisely. Don't go drawing undue attention onto yourself, or that'll be the last you get. An ox cart travelling a night is suspicious enough in its own right, if to have known that I'm carrying pawns across the border. I know. And I'll take care of it, I swear it. Contact me again when you've need of more cargo, won't you? Hold, I beg you. I'll tell you what there is to know. I was approached by a battalion merchant I met at the border checkpoint. He offered me a coin in exchange for rounding up pawns. Aye, I know. Here in Vermin, there's nary a deed more abhorrent. But you have to understand, my gambling debts were like to drown me. I needed coin, and I needed it fast. I know not where they've been taken. Pray, believe me. Here, take this. Tis a document I got from that merchant. If word of this should reach the palace, I'd no doubt be disciplined. I might even lose my post. I'll give you all the gold I got today. So pray, I beg you, will you let me go? I swear, I'll ne'er do aught like this again. You have my sincerest thanks. I see the true arisen is merciful indeed. I I'll be going then. The contents of this document are beyond my ken. Methinks we ought to show it to someone better apprised of such things. Captain Brandt and Regent Kin Sven are likely to be of aid, but Minister Allard is best avoided. A resounding success. Materials, eh? I shan't deny they have their uses. You have my sincerest thanks. I see the true arisen is merciful indeed. If we are to break it, it shan't be from this side. As you say. I expect Captain Brandt will want to hear of this.
over so soon. Oh, they would seem to have come through unscathed. Well done, Master! Master, you don't look as if you need my help. This is what we went to all that trouble for. It is a dismal feeling to be disappointed so utterly. Well, I shall await further orders. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. You have my fullest confidence. Yes, Your Majesty? Ah, so you've encountered the Phantom Ox Cart from the rumors. To be precise, the letter of the Lord does not forbid the abduction of pawns. However, in our sovereign rule kingdom, crude treatment of the pawns who so loyally serve our liege is an act decried by all. If one were to sell them for personal gain, they would doubtless be censured no matter their station. And this letter, by its make and the quality of the parchment, I can only surmise tis of the like used in the palace. We ought to assume a member of the court has a hand in this matter. But for what purpose are these pawns being gathered? And where are they being taken? I have a proposal, Your Majesty. Should we ascertain the pawn's destination, perchance we will discover the intent behind this plot. Yet if we question the driver haphazardly, this mission will be over before it begins. I bid Your Majesty follow the ox cart without arousing suspicion that you might divine where it is headed. Alternatively, mayhap your majesty could assume the guise of a pawn and await pickup in a likely location. I leave the choice to your majesty's discretion.
quite a number. Getting proper rest is an important duty in its own right. Tis an odd thing to wake after the sun has fallen. Step lively. Journey by starlight shall make for a nice change of pace. Feeling rested, I trust? to be called to your side, Arisen. Whether this pleasant makes me want to kip somewhere with a nice breeze. One would think we are on our way to a picnic to hear you talk. It is as you say. Got a good view of the landscape from up here. Mayhap I'll spot something of interest. 